What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Young Chris, back at again with a new vid from 901's 5 Kicks. Yeah, so today we got another dope unboxing. This one right here is the Jordan 7. I guess you can go ahead and say these are like the women's Raptors version of them. The, they are patent leather, and I mean, the colors are slightly off from the regular Raptors, but you know, we know the vibes that they were trying to give us with this shoe. And I think that's one reason why this shoe kind of went under the radar because it is patent leather. A lot of people really ain't messing with it like that. So, you know, it is what it is. But I, to me, I think it was a pretty neat shoe. And I said, why not? Go ahead and get it in the collection. And definitely shout out to the bro, Moneybound M, part of Next Up. He definitely rocked with your boy. Got me a good price on this. You know, definitely appreciate that assist. So definitely go check him out on IG, Moneybound M, and then also uh, Moneybound M on YouTube. He also has a YouTube channel and do shoe reviews just like me. So definitely go over there, show him some love, subscribe, because, hey, we all trying to grow together. But uh, if this is the first time to the channel here, though, definitely please do like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. Let's chop it up in the comment section. As always, I don't mind getting on each and every one of y'all. Let's go and keep this grind alive and keep on going up. All right, so here go the box. It is a women's release shoe, so it does come in a white box. You got the gold jump man on it. Unfortunately, this box did get a little toe up in transit. It just is what it is. You know how ship it could be. But uh, the label reads, Women's Air Jordan 7 Retro, Black, Bright Crimson. This is 11 and a half, uh, and it translates to a 10 in men and then um suggested retail of 190 and there go the label so y'all can read it and have started the yellow a lot of these shoes will be sitting around in nike's webs uh warehouse and stuff like that they just man all the labels just started turning yellow flip the lid you got the 23 paper pull back the second layer of paper and there you have it me, dope, dope shoes. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Do away with the box. And uh, here they go. Now, I don't know how everything's going to show up on the camera as far as exposure goes, but I know in the first, the first time I saw the shoes when they came out close to around Halloween time, I was thinking that anywhere, like the peaks that look red, I was thinking it was actually orange and then purple. But in actuality, this is red. It's just kind of like an infrared color. It does say bright crimson, but honestly, I put them right next to my infrared sixes and I couldn't really tell a difference in the color. You know, they kind of play around with the color codes and the color descriptions or whatever the shoes, but definitely um, this is pretty much basically a patent leather Raptor shoe. This is just... To me, that's just me and my opinion because if you go back and look at the Raptor shoes, like even on the bottoms, like these are all the same colors that was used on this shoe. But uh, let's go ahead and just uh, put one of these yeah. down with the shoe. So right here, you do have a, a crimson or infrared, whatever you want to say, uh, jump man right here on the ankle collar of the shoe going down on the midsole where the peaks are. You do have that bright crimson and that purple front and back um pretty much the whole shoe is constructed of black uh patent leather now this section this section and this section you really can't really hardly tell i'm gonna get close as possible it's slightly it's a slightly uh kind of smoky kind of gray kind of color and it has like a little bit of a kind of like a metallic look and so it does somewhat break it up where you can see the colors but you got to really be trying to pay attention going to the rear of the shoe it does have this that purple pull tab and then that seven that makes up like a triangle with the 23 in the middle of it going to the outsole of the shoe you will see different colors on these pods down here you know pretty much that crimson that purple that yellow and then of course black and then of course you had that that crimson uh, jump man right there Another unique thing about Jordan 7s, all these tongues, they always are pretty much always different. So you see all the different colors and the designs on this tongue. And then of course you go to this tongue, it's completely different. So that's just a normal characteristic of a Jordan 7. Um, 
pulling out the little top part of the shoe tree. Um, it has the same uh, bright crimson going on, in, on on the inside. And then it does have a black jump man up in there. And these shoes were produced uh, 4319 to 62019. So uh, definitely all in all, to me, I think this is a pretty dope shoe. Somewhat of a sleeper. And uh, glad I was able to get this joint in the collection. But it's your boy, Young Chris, 9015 Kicks. We got this joint. Peace. Sauce, sauce. I got two more sauce. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce. I be dripping sauce. Two more sauce, two more sauce. I got two more sauce.